wonky. Why do we have these 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 weird structures that no one can really explain? And when you think about the fact that there's so much evidence that we were hit by comets, that we were hit by large objects. Like, I didn't know about that enormous crater that's in um, Antarctica. Oh, yes. Well, tell I, I don't know all the details on how old that one's supposed to be, but it's one of the largest, isn't it? Yeah, there's a big one in, in, uh, in Antarctica. I don't know that much about it, but another one that you... Have you heard of Burkle Crater? That's another one? Yes. Yeah, Burkle Crater, like the... 20, 20 mile hole in the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. That's, and when is that supposed to be five, found? So five. That was five thousand years ago. They dated that. It's something plopped down in the the Indian Ocean, and it washed up these mega tsunamis on the coast of Madagascar and Western Australia that we can see in satellite images today. These got these like five six hundred foot high chevrons from where the water went miles inland, and they 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 found organic material from the seabed in these chevrons, and then they date that with carbon fourteen dating, and they put it right at uh, 5,000 years ago, so, so 2,500 around that time BC, which is actually a really interesting date when you consider some of the, I guess, the publications that we rely on in our in our modern civilization today. The Bible, the Old Testament, wasn't written long after that. And if you think about where the Indian Ocean is, that could have been the source of the biblical flood. Like that, mm. that would have washed up north into the Persian Gulf, flooded the hell out of that whole region. It's just crazy that it's happened so many times. That's like, what they we, say. We like to think of history as being this linear thing. We started out as cave people, that's and right. then we branched out from Africa all across the world, and, that's and, the end kept, of it. and kept learning. And here we are today with cell phones. But no, yeah. no, it's we've been we've been rocked like multiple many times, times, many many times, and there's real solid evidence. The Antarctica one, how old do they think that is? I don't recall on that. Mm -hmm. I have to double check that. I have to do a Google, Jamie. <laughs> yeah. So, researchers have discovered a crater 1.5 kilometers beneath the Antarctica ice crust, 482 kilometers okay. in diameter. 482 kilometers yeah. in diameter. Holy shit. What does that Probably to dates back to a meteorite impact 250 million years ago. That's Wow. A, that's, okay, so that's an old one. It's like an order of magnitude bigger than anything related, even with the younger draw. I mean, that's a... It's bigger than the dinosaur one, right? Yeah, that's like it's, a yeah. 99 point whatever percent extinction event so it's something just that it big. just keeps happening the earth just over millions and millions of years and thousands of years that humans have been around Does. the earth just keeps getting whacked the evidence is so <laughs> overwhelming in it and say going back to the younger driest period of time there's evidence when you say get whacked more than 30 percent of all landmass at that time was charred burned it, they, they claim that it's more fires than existed in the time of the dinosaurs now i don't know if that, that's an article i read on science alert i don't know if they can truly prove that but if nothing else 30 percent of all landmass existing today was burned and scorched to death at that period of time mm -hmm. that like helps people to wrap their heads around like this the world was on fire yeah, yeah that's that's the younger driest mat they yeah it's it's they they estimate as part of the the burning and because there was floods and fire and this correlates to a lot of origin myths from cultures all around the world but yeah 10 percent of the biomass i think is the nine to ten percent of the which is an inconceivable number of that's how much of the world was was burnt and that's now embedded 10 in this black mass. 10% of the biomass. Yeah. It's so crazy that there's a, a like literally a dark line. Yeah, in the ground. In the ground <laughs> that shows where everything was on fire for a long, long fucking time. time. Yep. Yeah. Well, crazy. We, we we barely survived it. There's 